Another Sunday marred by Philadelphia's gun violence crisis. Police are investigating after a string of shootings overnight left six people dead and 12 others wounded. Among those hit three teenagers who were at Penn's Landing this time last night. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts spoke to one business owner who has hired private security to help keep her customers and staff safe. I worry that it could happen to my family or anyone that I know. As Bill Purnell walked along the picturesque Delaware River waterfront Sunday afternoon, he was taken back to learn it was also the scene of a triple shooting just hours before. Out in the open? Yeah, that's very surprising. So that's scary too. Police say three teens, two age 14 and another age 15, were struck while standing near the stage area at Columbus Boulevard and Spruce Street shortly before 10 p.m. Saturday night. CBS 3 cameras show the markings where investigators found at least four shell casings. This couple lives nearby. I just seen a lot of flashing lights, sirens. People, a lot of people leaving. All of the teens are expected to survive. Police say they believe the shooter knew his targets, and right now they are searching for a 15 to 20 year old male who is wearing a red sweatshirt. Incidents like this affect my staff because my the average age of my staff is 17. So they see these incidents happen and said that could have been me. Even before this weekend, French Toast Bites business owner Cherise McGill hired plain clothes security officers, in addition to the ones already staffed by Spruce Street Harbor Park. To help us out, even for like things like bathroom runs. It's not always for safety and protection, and because we're scared, proactive. She, like many, hope Penn's Landing can stay safe for all those who come out to take it all in. I don't think it'll make me not want to come here, but it's definitely like that's that's really a shame to hear that that's that close. Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And we are gathering details on several more deadly shootings.